Create unique rhinestone templates using the rhinestone module for GraphTech Pro Studio. Once installed, the rhinestone fill function can be found under the effects tab. Rhinestones can be placed using text, shapes, and paths. I started by importing a JPEG image and using the auto trace feature. Select your image, then choose rhinestone fill. The Design Central panel now displays your rhinestone configuration options. Hold style determines the placement method. Dot diameter changes the size of the rhinestone dot. This represents the hole we will cut into our template, not the actual rhinestone size. Uh, we recommend choosing a dot diameter one millimeter larger than the rhinestone you plan to use. Offset places the rhinestone dots on, outside, or inside the object border. Hole distance is the distance between each hole. Row distance is the distance between each row. It will only be active when using fill styles. Each time changes are applied, the program notifies you how many rhinestones will be required for the job. Color options are useful when working with multiple rhinestone sizes and colors in your artwork. Now that my design is complete, I will send the job to cut on the GraphTech CE6000-60 Plus cutting plotter using template material. Apply the finished design to a backing board and weed out the holes. This can easily be done by first placing on a table and pulling up quickly. The remaining holes can be removed after the stencil is applied to the backing board. The finished template can then be stored and used multiple times brush the rhinestone into the template. The stones will fall face side up, but some may need to be adjusted manually. Now that the design is in place, pick it up using a rhinestone transfer sheet and place on your apparel. Finally, using an iron or heat press, add heat to the design using the rhinestone manufacturer's recommended settings.